Skywinders, welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is the Ultra Pro Universal Remote for two devices. So it has a large simplified keypad and pre-programmed for Samsung TVs. And it is soundbar compatible. So basically, this is a simple device. Um, I got it for free, so um, I want to be transparent, but that's not going to affect the objectivity of this review. So, without further ado, let's open it up. And here are your instructions. So, in this video, I'm going to focus on how to program this, and at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you my, um, my verdict as far as whether I recommend this or not, and I'm going to give you a, a rating, maximum 5 stars rating. So let's get started. In here you do have the codes. I am going to be posting the codes in case you have this remote and you lost the this paper. So don't worry. It's going to be on the second half of the video. I'm going to show all the codes and I'm going to instruct you how to program it. So let me get started. There are two ways to program this remote. One if you have the code list, you can try each code until you find the right one. And two, when you do not have the code list, so you want the remote to find the correct code. We're going to look at both ways. Okay, folks, so here we are in front of our TV, and we're going to program this using a code. I already looked up the code on the paper that I got, so it's right there. I know you can't see it, but it's 2851. I tried every single code for this TV and that's the only one that works. So to program it using the code, you have to go to your remote and over here on setup, you're gonna press and hold and this is gonna light up. Once that happens, you're gonna have to choose a device, either a device button, either a TV or cable. Either one doesn't matter. I'm gonna choose TV and then I'm gonna type in the code. It's gonna be a four digit code and that's it. It's going to be programmed. After that, all I have to do is test it. So let's do that. Press and hold setup. So that lights up. So now make a choice, either this button or this button. I'm going to choose this one. So it flashes once. Now I'm going to type in the code, which is 2851. So 2, 8, 5, 1, and that's it. So now it's been programmed. So let's test it. Power it up. It takes a while, but it's coming. So now let's see all the functions, make sure everything's correct. So volume. So volume is working. Now let's do channel. Channel is working. Um, the next thing I want to try is mute. Mute is working. Let's try the keypad. That seems to be working. Like channel 23, for example. Okay, so we're there. Um, the sleep button. Press it off. 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So this TV goes all the way to 90 minutes, no, 120 minutes. So it's off now. And then the last button I want to try is input. So there you go. You can select your input. That refers to the HDMI connections on the back and the um, video input. And I think this has an optical input. I could be wrong. So I'm going to leave it on Watch TV, which is the one at the top, like that. Just leave it alone. And that's it. So this works. So that's how you do that. So again, you press and hold Setup key until this lights up. Then choose a button. I chose TV. I press it. It flashes once. Then I type in my four-digit code, and it's programmed. Okay, folks, so the next thing I want to do is program this TV and remote without knowing the code. So basically, you have this remote, but 
you have lost the instruction manual, so you can't look up the code. So what you want to do is get the remote to find that code. So to do that, you have to do the following. First, you have to turn on your TV. Make sure it's on. It'll be easier that way. And next, you have to press and hold the setup button until this light turns on. Once this is on, you have to make a selection, um, either this button or that button. I usually pick this button right here, the TV button, because that's a TV. So you press it. And once you're at that point, um, you're going to press this button and it's going to start flashing and it's going to send 10 codes to the TV. So once it sends those 10 codes, you're going to have to look and see if the TV reacts. If it doesn't react, you got to send another 10 codes by pressing this button again. If it doesn't react, send another 10 codes by pressing this button again. And if it doesn't react, send another 10 codes by pressing that button. And just keep doing that until it reacts. Once it reacts, you, you want to find out which of those 10 codes is the right code. So to do that, you're going to be pressing this button, the volume up. You press it once and it'll send a single code. And you keep doing that until the TV reacts. Once it reacts, you know you're at the right code. So you want to finalize the process. So you press the same button that you chose initially. In my case, TV, you press it and you're done. So let's try it. The TV is on. So press and hold setup until that turns on and then make a selection. I'm going to choose this button right here, TV. It flashes once and now I'm going to send the first 10 codes. So let's do that. And you can see it flashing. Let me kind of cover it. Send another 10 codes. So it doesn't react, send another 10 codes. It doesn't react, send another 10 codes. Send another 10 codes. Okay, so it reacted. So now we know that those last 10 codes, one of them was the right one. So now we have to find out which one. So press volume up to send one individual code. And that first one was it. So you see the TV reacts. So now we know that we're at the right code. So we want to finalize this process and you press the same button that you pressed the first time. I chose TV, so I'm going to press it again and we're done. So now let's test it. So it powers up, powers down, I should say. And let's test volume. Volume works, channel. Channel works, mute. That works. Last channel. That works. Let's test the numbers. 24. That works. Sleep. So everything works. Input. everything works so let's review that to program the TV when you don't know the code you have to have the TV on so you have to manually turn it on and then you press and hold this button right here until this light turns on once that happens you make a choice either this button or this button I usually pick the TV for a TV so you press it you're gonna see this flash once once that happens, press the power button to send 10 codes and you're going to see this flashing. And keep doing that until the TV reacts. Once the TV reacts, you know that the last 10 codes, one of them was the right one. So you have to find out which one it is. So press volume up to send a single code until the TV reacts. You keep pressing volume up, volume up until the TV reacts. 
Once it reacts, you know you have the right code. So you want to finalize the process. So press the same button that you originally pressed. In my case, TV, you press it and the process is done and you're ready. So test the TV and make sure that everything works. Everything should work on the TV, I mean on the remote. And if that's the right code, you can keep that one. If that's not the right code, then you have to repeat the process and try to find a different code that works better. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is program a master volume. So let's say you have a TV right here and you connect that to a uh, either a, a satellite device or a DVD player, whatever it is. You'll know that you'll have two volumes, one for that device and one for the TV, but you want to have a master volume. So no matter where you are, either on TV or, or this cable, that other device, you want the volume to control the TV, for example. So you want to set up the TV volume as the master volume. To do that, you have to do this. Press and hold setup until this turns on. Once that turns on, you have to select which of these components is going to be the master volume. Like I said, I, I chose the TV, but you can choose the other device, whichever one you like. I'm going to choose TV and then you press it and then you have to press the mute button. Once you do that, you have to press volume up and it's set up. So it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're on this device or on the TV, the volume rocker right here is going to control the TV volume. So let's, um, let's do that and see how it works. Press and hold setup. So this powers on. Now select which one of these uh, devices is going to be the master volume. I'm going to pick TV. And now press the mute button once. And now press volume up. And that's it. So the master volume is set up to TV. So now let's pretend I want to do that, but I want the master volume to be my other device, like the, the CBL cable. So you do the same process, press set up and hold, press and hold setup. This light turns on. On this occasion, I'm going to press cable. And then I press mute and then volume up. And there you have it. So now the master volume is going to be that other device that says that is assigned to the cable button. So now let's pretend we want to disable this whole process. So let's disable the master volume that's set up to the cable button right here. So you do the following press and hold setup. So this turns on press cable, press mute, and then volume down so now it's disabled so I, I don't think this is a mo this is a, a big issue right here you can choose whatever you want but it's good to know that you can do that okay folks so we have reached the end of this review and I'm gonna give a rating and I'm also gonna leave the codes at the end of this video so I did um, program this several times and I took the batteries out and then I left them out for about 20 seconds and then I put them back in and sure enough it did hold the code so this is not like the older remotes from the 1990s that you took the batteries out and the code would be gone so you would not and you probably lost this already and there was no internet back in those days so this became trash so you couldn't program it so I'm happy to say that we do live in the modern era so even if you lose the code you can always look it up either from the manufacturer or even YouTube like you are right now but either way I do recommend that you store this with you don't rely on the internet or, or YouTube for this kind of thing just make sure you put this away don't lose it so overall I do recommend this 100% I didn't find any flaws um, I wish it was uh, backlit, which is not. But other than that, it's a very good remote. It's not the best. It's not perfect. But it is acceptable. And for that price, less than $10, it's 100% great. So I'm going to give it a 5 stars out of 5. So thank you for watching. Subscribe. Thumbs up. 
And now let's look at the codes.
Thank you for watching Skywind 007. Please give us a like and subscribe.